going on, everyone? Sam here, Layton Sports Cards. Welcome back to another episode of No Method All Madness. Very excited to be uh, rocking with you all again. Uh, got another week of pickups from PWCC or Fanatics Collect Weekly, so excited to share what I picked up. So heavy on the Bowman this week, I'll be honest with you. Uh, also have a couple other interesting pickups too. Gonna start off, first one is from 2008 Donruss Playoff. It's gonna be a blue Spectrum, number two, 250 of Isaac Bruce. Uh, reason why I picked this one up, it kind of threw me off. He's a San Francisco 49er in that one. I did not know that he played for the 49ers until I saw that card, to be honest. I feel like that's something I should have known as like a football nerd, but did not realize that until I picked that card up. So just thought that was interesting, something cool to have in the collection, a little obscure. I like the guys in obscure jersey sometimes, so very cool on that one. Second one will be from 23 Bowman Draft. It's going to be Maui Ahuna for the San Francisco Giants. Believe he's a top 30 prospect in the organization. Um, definitely a big fan of his. Again, Bowman, it's always kind of a gamble, so decided to pick up a couple different Bowman autos, which leads me into the next one. will be also from 23 Bowman Draft, 99. True Green of Mike Coyado of the Cleveland Guardians. Uh, don't know too much about him. I don't believe he's a top 30 guy in the organization, but um, like I said, always a gamble with Bowman, so might pay off, who knows. Uh, gonna go into some football this time. 2020 Panini Mosaic, uh, yellow fluorescent, number to 20 is Isaiah Simmons of the Arizona Cardinals. I love my defenders. Simmons got a little bit of a uh, contract extension. No, he got traded actually. I believe he got traded to uh, the New York Giants. So, Zayvon Collins is who I was thinking of got the extension. So, do love my defenders, love my linebackers. Obviously, Ray Lewis is my favorite. Uh, Favorite player of all time, so always have a soft spot for linebackers uh, in my collection. Next up, we're gonna go on to the offensive line. 2020 Panini Optic uh, Purple Stars, first off the line exclusive, Makai Becton. Uh, he is somewhere else, and I forget exactly where he is, but was drafted very high out of Louisville. He's like six foot seven. So, had a lot of injury issues, but figured that that's something cool you don't see every day. Decided to grab that as well. Uh, continuing, next three cards are gonna be Bowman again. Uh, this is, I believe, 23 Bowman Chrome. Uh, that is going to be Daniel Giarte, true purple, number 250 of the Milwaukee Brewers. Again, similar to the Coyado. Don't know a ton about him, but uh, it's a colored Bowman Auto. Always in on that. Uh, next one up will be to 499. This is another 23 Bowman draft. It's going to be for the Minnesota Twins, Brandon Winokur. Uh, I believe he's a little bit higher up in the organization than uh, an unranked guy, so decided to grab that. I think it is uh, definitely an interesting pickup. Uh, next one up, this one's really cool. This is from uh, 24 Bowman. That's going to be the True Blue, Daniel Susak, who I believe was drafted in 21. That's number to 150. I uh, believe was drafted in 21. Uh, had his first, I want to say it was 21 Bowman draft, and then didn't have his first ink until this year. So he's another guy. I believe he's top 15 in the A's organization. So decided to snag that uh, for the collection as well. Ever-growing Bowman collection at this point. Next up, I uh, got three PSA slabs. These are all super cool in my opinion. I'm gonna start off with 2016 Prism Basketball. That's gonna be Brandon Ingram, rookie. Uh, PSA nine on a Starburst. Starburst, again, were a little bit shorter printed that year. I believe they were retail exclusives, if I'm not mistaken. Could be wrong on that, I'll have to double check. But um, thought that was definitely a cool one. I love Brandon Ingram. He's a big trade candidate as well. I know there's talk to like Utah. I know the Hawks were looking at him for a bit. Of course, we didn't end up pulling the trigger with him. But I think he may end up on a different team this year. So be interesting to see what happens and how that changes the landscape of basketball. Uh, last two I'm really excited for. Next up is going to be a 2009 Upper Deck SPX PSA 9 Rookie Auto for the Baltimore Orioles. That's going to be Matt Wieters. Um, super, super underrated catcher for many, many years in Baltimore. Uh, a couple of all-star appearances, and unfortunately, I believe he had like Tommy John at one point. He had a UCL injury. I think it was uh, elbow or shoulder, and uh, that kind of ended his career. But uh, he was really good, really solid guy that anybody would have taken on their roster pretty much any time. So decided to pick that up. I'm a bit of a nostalgia merchant, I'm sure as you all know. So uh, decided to pick that one up as well. And then definitely my favorite pickup from the week, 2009 SP, uh, Upper Deck SP, Legendary Cuts, PSA 8 with a 10 auto is going to be Johnny Cueto. He was so dominant in his prime, whether it was in Cincinnati, and then he had that trade to the Kansas City Royals, where he ended up winning the World Series on that electrifying uh, Royals team that won the World Series, I believe, in 15. Um, and then anywhere else he was, he was really good. Still was pitching, I think, up until this year in Miami, but... Uh, 
just awesome. Had the, the crazy wind up, uh, always rocking the dreads. I, I just, I love Johnny Cueto in his prime. So I had to pick that one up. That one's staying in the collection with me. So very, very excited for that one. Uh, but that is going to do it for this episode of No Method All Madness. Appreciate you guys as always for watching. Uh, I love doing these, just talking about cards that I picked up. I love seeing you guys' comments on, you know, like funny, funny cards or, you know, whatever we, whatever it may be. So definitely excited to have this up and uh, we'll see you guys in the next episode.